Before we get our entertainment, back again with our video, and we are looking at another talking point for episode 9. I must go in, for the fog is rising, brother. And we're looking at why did Wendy help Ezekiel Reyes? 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 Whatever you want to call him. And if we look at the episode, Easy crashes the bike because of a dog. I mean, you can say whatever you want, it was just a random dog. I think it's just more to tie back to the like the start of the show and... Oh, he flew off his bike here. It's like, oh, it's like a, it's like an omen. The sons of anarchy. Angels telling him to get back with Sophia. Do the right thing. We're introduced to Angel. Angel. We're introduced to Wendy. Played, of course, by Drio de Matai, who hasn't aged a day. She's like, what, 51, man? Pff, still looks absolutely unreal. Yeah, less said about that, the better, though. Um, maybe not the better, but is what it is. And... I didn't mind their scenes, man. I didn't. I just feel like it just felt out of place. Like, could this not have happened? It's, it's just not the penultimate episode. Like, Easy did nothing this episode but talk to Wendy. Here, I'm a fan of the Wendy character. We've talked about this before. But it's not like he's talking to like a Nero. Nero was next level. And realistically, who's left from that world that Easy could talk to? Because realistically, he's not going to be talking to Chibs or Tig. He's at fucking war with them. At the end of the day. And as much as I enjoyed seeing Wendy in here, if it was a choice between getting these scenes or not, I'd obviously pick getting these scenes. But it's just like they bring her back just to badmouth Jax. And I put a tweet up saying, How can Wendy bury Jax? Jax set her up for life in a farm, all paid for with Nero, all the money, all his assets going to Wendy and the boys. And here she is bad-mouthing him about a decade later. I'm not a fan of it, Wendy. I'm not a fan of it, man. You need to lay off the, the easy Reyes Kool-Aid. Trying to put him over. Oh, it's the women that's got to deal with the wreckage. Aye, because the men are in the MCs. The men are out there in the MCs providing with the money. No one's forcing them to stay. Aye, that's a, that's the a funny thing about it. Like, no one is literally forcing them to stay. But you look at Tara, like, no one forced you to stay. You had a kid. You had Thomas and you looked after Abel, which made her... Oh, I'm obliged now, you know, the, the club are going to come after me. Wendy went to rehab numerous times throughout the show. Should have stayed at rehab. If she's such a problem with the club life, you should have stayed at rehab. And realistically, her help me easy. It was a bit forced. It was literally just get to these, get these conversations out there. But I would have just preferred it so much more if they were talking about Jax. Like, I know they were talking about Jax, but actually mentioning his name... You see at the end, Jax has been dead a decade, right? And see when Jax died, the Mayans were good. My sons. I know you could say, oh, well, a lot's happened since then, and Easy's not really good. But what, what's going to happen, right? See once she says about, oh, I, I, I'm afraid to say, because I don't know if you guys are on good terms. Obviously, Easy's like, well, mate, he was a former son then. But then just talk about Jax. Like, you've got the golden ticket here to talk about Jax Teller. And you talk about him without actually referencing him. It's like, come on. Out of all the name drops that we've gave this guy in this show, hey, that's what Jax Teller would have wanted. That's Jax Teller's wishes. 5% Jax Teller. All, all, all this forced conversation about Jax Teller, it, it really was beginning to like grind my gears a bit. And, and here we get the perfect opportunity where Wendy can say, like, why not have Wendy talk about like the way Jax went out? And at the end, Jax ended up killing his mother because of a lie on the street. And he killed everyone he loved and it got and it led him to his death, which eventually killed him. And she's like, do you really want that life for you sort of thing? Like talking about you can learn for his mistakes. Just go off the dark path. But no, we don't even get that. We just get Wendy going, oh, well, I'm, I'm looking after his mess now. You're looking after his mess? He fucking set you up for life, you dotip bastard, in a farm. See, see when she gets home, I hope Nero does his best Dave Batista impersonation and power bombs her through the ranch, because, oh, man. <laughs> but why bury Jax? It makes no sense, man. It's fucking Elgin James, that's, that's what it is. Like, we've even seen it in season three. When Montez and Happy showed up, and someone said Jack's Teller, and Steve Steve was like, "Who's Jack's Teller?" And Gilly's like, "It doesn't fucking matter. He's a nobody." Or he says something like that. It's like, "You wee rap bastard, Elgin James." 
Seeing this, I hope for I hope for some reason Kurt Suter's at this finale and he fucking wipes them all off the face of this earth. But anyway, till next time, peace.